Yeah. It is recording and somebody's screen is sharing though. Only the host can share. Sorry, guys. There we go. No one else can share their screen here. Sorry. Um, okay. And we are recording. Um, so the back to the patch. This is the X39 patch. And um, stem cell technology is revolutionary. This patch has been out into the public for a little over a year now, a year and four months. And um, it's changed my life. And I'm going to explain how. I have had four knee surgeries. The last was in 2018 in September, and I had um, such excruciating pain. I'm allergic to all opioids, take no pain killers, no pain relievers. And I went through life through up to last November 26th at a 10 on the pain scale. Um, I had no cartilage in my left knee. I have no scar tissue left, and I have no ACL um, tendon in there. So I had to learn how to walk again, and my knee was grinding bone on bone. And last November, before Kathleen shared this with me, I was literally looking at my future at the age of 56, and I was saying, in, in um, six weeks, am I, or I mean, pardon me, in six years when I'm 62, am I going to be on a cane for the rest of my life? or am I going to be able to walk? And I just prayed to every day for a miracle that something would change in my life. And on November 26th, Kathleen gave me this stem cell activating patch for the first time. And I was like, well, tell me, what does it do? So she said, put it on. I have one right here. And she said, put it on. It is organic crystals and salt and light therapy code. Well, I'm a massage therapist and an energy healer, and I work with organic crystals all the time. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's a patch with amethyst in it. I, that was so far from the truth. <laughs> it's organic salts and amino acids that are encoded with light therapy. And when you put it on your, um, on your body, your infrared body heat activates that light therapy. It sends messages up to your brain, and then your brain starts to produce a product called GHK copper, and that is copper peptide. Now, what is important about that? Copper peptides, for me, one of the hugest things was they are anti-inflammatory. They are collagen-producing. And they actually help to rebuild the connective tissue in your lungs. Isn't that amazing in this time we're going through right now? They stimulate blood vessel growth, nerve growth. Um, they help all the linings of the organs can reheal. And um, it's one of its most phenomenal properties are its wound healing properties. But the biggest thing that GHK pep, um, copper peptide does for you is it actually stimulates you to produce your own blank stem cells. So what's important about that? Well, right now, um, this morning, actually it was yesterday, we got to hear from uh, Jason Fowler, and he spoke about getting a stem cell injection into his um, body at $10,000 a shot. And this little patch that helps you activate your own stem cells is less than $5 a day. Okay, so that's huge. The cost. These are not any, there's no drugs. There's nothing transdermal. So nothing is going into your body. You are literally generating your new blank stem cells, which then David Schmidt, the creator of the patch, he says that that new stem cell, when it lays on the old stem cells, it causes new growth to occur. When you take and inject old stem cells into your body, those old stem cells go in and they just cause old tissue to occur. And what happens then is you have only a 30% chance of success rate. So back to me real quick, Kathleen gave me that patch 155 days ago. I was living life at a 30 plus pain scale. Today, I'm at a five pain scale. For the last week, for the first time in over three years, I have been able in my whole opinion, due to this patch, I've been able to sit cross-legged. And it's pretty amazing when you go from experiencing chronic pain for many years, 
I, the first time I injured my knee, I was 18 years old at cheerleading camp. So it's been a long time of pain with this left knee, but I have the X39 and, you know, some people believe in miracles and I'm one of them and I prayed for one and I got mine and I um, would like to introduce now to you uh, our guest today who um, is near and dear to my heart. And uh, let me just find him on the screen here so I can unmute him. And um, we're going to hear today from my son, James Hay, and uh, his story of what's happened to him um, on February 8th, which is my uh, grandson's birthday, <laughs> James's son, Jacob. So welcome, James, and um, please share your experience with uh, the X39 LifeWave stem cell activating patch. Can everyone hear me? Yes. All right, so uh, February 8th, my son Jacob turned 10. And uh, we went to the fly trampoline park and uh, the kids jumped for a little while and they talked dad into going and jumping. So. I went and paid and I jumped for about five minutes and then they've got a big huge foam pit that has a balance beam across it, probably 16 feet long. And my 16 year old boy was up there with me and we were using these jousting bars and I was beating on him pretty good and he turned and he ran off of it. So I went and ran after him and I thought I was close enough to like the edge that's around the, the foam pit and I jumped off of it and my left leg landed on the on the actual like the, the actual side but my right leg landed my right foot landed where the the edge of it is rounded and it shattered my foot uh, I got a Liz Frank fracture the first second third and fourth metacarpal uh, shattered in my foot it's pretty incredible how bad it shattered so for two weeks until the 20th, I went in to the doctor every day to the surgeons, but the swelling was so extreme, they couldn't do anything. Um, it was very clear I needed to have surgery. Um, so my mom sent me some patches. She sent uh, a couple kinds and you know, I, I won't lie, I'm a skeptic of all those kinds of things. So I put it on and and I I couldn't put it on down by my leg because my leg was in a full cast with the middle cut out so my foot could swell. So on the 20th of February, they decide they're going to have surgery on the 21st. So I went in on the 21st and I got four plates and almost 30 screws put into my little foot <laughs> and uh it was it's been a real emotional trip with this foot because my body rejected how much metal they put into it and the doctor told me well let's put you on some steroids and let's try and I kept doing this patch my mom sent me and now after the surgery I could put the patch down closer to my foot so I did and um, the steroids weren't, weren't working, the antibiotics weren't working. Um, and I think it was Easter Sunday weekend or maybe the weekend before my little boy, he's, I'm a full-time single dad, so he's with me all the time. I had all my doctor's appointments. We're in the doctor's office and the doctor tells me, you got a 75% chance you're gonna lose your foot. That's how you could see the metal through the incisions, the two six inch incisions on my foot where they put the metal in. So due to coronavirus, uh, this big hoax in the world, they have closed all the infusion centers, wound care centers. Uh, unless you're dying, I guess you can't even go to the hospital. My surgeon even tried to get me in there because I needed care. So they started an IV in my arm and three times a day 
for 28 days or 25 days, my 10 year old helped give me IV antibiotics. I went to the plastic surgeon because the wound was so bad that they wanted to do a skin graft off my right hip and put it over my the foot so they, this, there would be skin there so they could go in and do surgery and take the metal back out immediately. Well, between the, the, the patch and the antibiotics, um, the, the wound has healed a lot. Um, it's, it's still weak a little and it's still, it's still there. Um, but at any rate, I went into the doctor yesterday and, um, you know, I've been going to the doctor several times a week through this whole thing. Anyway, so yesterday I go in and the doctor who told me two weeks ago today, it would be another month before I could start walking said, Hey, let's take an x-ray of your foot today. See what it looks like. Well, I'm pretty used to the x-ray thing. So we go and take an x-ray and two weeks ago, there was no new bone growth in the foot. It was still looked shattered. And yesterday the x-ray shows where my foot is all shattered. There's all brand new bone. And my surgeon's been a surgeon for 24 years, Dr. Ellison. And he's like, man, uh, I've never seen this. Number one, this is the second or third foot I've ever done that is this bad. And he's been telling me that the whole time. But he can't believe, he's like, what are you doing to, to get your foot to grow bone? So I told him, I, well, you know, my mom sent me these patches. And he said, well, you better keep using them because uh, you're a 35-year-old man who's had – several surgeries, broken back, uh, shoulders, elbow, and it's a miracle what's going on with your foot. He said, man, I got the best news of your life today. Other than that, you can start walking on it. So I'm in a walking boot now. So just in a matter of a month, I've gone from going to lose my foot, like completely lose it um, because my body's rejected it to – He's going to let me walk on it, and uh, tomorrow or Thursday I have another appointment with him to talk about getting the metal out because all the bone has grown, and there's no need for the metal in there anymore. The metal was there because they didn't think that would ever happen, and that was what was supposed to hold my foot together. So, you know, I can be a skeptic all I want or anything like that, but the reality is I put this patch on, And, you know, I wore it for 12 hours a day. Some days I forgot to take it off. I'd take it off in the morning, not wear it, then put another one on. But I did what I was supposed to do with it. And it's really, I guess, for a lack of better words, it's been a miracle. Um, You know, so uh, that's my story. It's where I'm at with it today. Um, You know, the x-rays are pretty incredible from where all the bone was shattered, where they, I would should have never grown bone again. There's bone on the first, second, third, and fourth metacarpal in your foot. Um, you know, and that's apparently only football players break their feet like that. They say, so, you know, it's, um, it's been a long journey and, uh, my mom and dad have been there at the phone the whole way through it for, for emotional support. My 10 year old little boy, he's been there. I've got a few friends that have helped me. Um, but I mean, it's debilitated my life. I went from being back into construction and turning a wrench and doing real good to absolutely nothing. And, and a lot of hopes lost. And because this patch I've gained a lot of hope because the bones have grown. And, you know, I mean, when you talk to a doctor that's been doing feet for 24 years, and he wants to know what I did to do that. It's pretty incredible, you know. Um, so that's my story. That's what I got to say, Mom. You there? I'm there. I I had to unmute myself. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to kick it over to Kathleen because I'm really emotional to hear that. Um, 
it's been a, um, a parent, um, you know, when uh, you get the phone call that your child might lose their foot. Um, I just prayed a lot that weekend. And um, I'm just going to kick it over to Kathleen because there's a few people, um, James, on chat here that have questions that they'd like. Um, and I thought maybe Kathleen could ask you their questions. Okay. So hang on. Kathleen's going to pop up for us. Okay. So, oh, sweetheart. Thank you so much for that amazing, beautiful story of healing. I'm also emotional because I was right there with your mom um, doing those prayers for your healing. So thank you so much for that beautiful story. And I'm so glad you're doing better. Um, some people would like to know, how is your pain level now? Um, you know, so like the doctor they want to give me you know i call it doctor dope they want to give you all the pills in the world so when i shattered the foot i took them for the first week and then i was able to take i i took the oxycodone for a week and i got to the point where i was able to take ibuprofen and i did that and then after the surgery i took it for probably two weeks and now i just still just take ibuprofen and tylenol every day um, but my pain, like today, I'm probably, you know, I've been walking on it. So really realistically, I'm probably like a five or a six right now. But like when I, I really have not been doing anything prior to the last few days, I've been laying on a couch or in a bed and the pain then was like a one, you know, what hurt was when I sat up and all the blood rushed to it. So, um, you know, that's, uh that's where I'm at with it now. You know, I mean, I'm hobbling to my kitchen right now on it. And it's, it, I think to make it better, you also have to kind of move on, you know? Um, Cause if you just lay on a bed with something forever, I mean, it, it's just going to be the way it is, you know? And so I, I don't know, it's a different kind of pain now. Cause like I can feel like the, the bones and the metal are like adjusting in the foot and like, it feels really weird because it's like fused together. So my foot, you know how you can bend I can't bend any of my toes because the metal goes from the, from about real close to the ankle all the way to my toes on the first, second, third and fourth metal carpal. So that's kind of like what hurts now is, is, the metal there. So that's a big reason they want to get it out of there is because there's new bone growth, uh, which they're really confused about, <laughs> but, um, they want to get the metal out because it's not good to have something fused that can work itself. Sure. Sure. That makes sense. Um, and just to refresh for, um, a little bit, James, so the accident was a uh, mid February. Um, is that correct? So like mid February time, February 8th. Okay. Yeah. And right. Um, and then your dad um, went down to Alaska um, right around Valentine's day. And that's about the time he would have started you on the patch. Correct. Yeah, that's exactly, I don't know what the day my dad came was, but yeah. um, that's when he came and saw me for four days. We thought I was going to have surgery the weekend. My dad came, but I had to go and see the doctor every day and due to my foot being so swollen, they don't want to do surgery. Um, sure. So, and then, you know, another kind of wild thing about that is they had to re-break my foot <laughs> because the bone had started growing again. Um, but when, after my dad gave me the patch and I never until you brought that up, I didn't really think about that, but, there was no way around not having surgery. Now what did happen is they were going to put pins in my big toe all the way down to the pinky toe, the first four toes that would have stuck out of my toes. But because they re had to re-break it, they didn't feel comfortable doing that. Yeah. Um, it's been a long journey. I mean, and I've still got a long journey ahead of me. You know, I mean, um, it's, I wear a patch every day. I've, I've moved it from my foot to my neck 
I wear it there on my neck now. Um, but you know, um, I, I won't lie to you. I'm a skeptic of anything like that. Okay. But I've become a believer because I've seen it happen in my own foot. Uh, I've watched the change and just in two weeks, you can kind of on the last ones two weeks ago, you can kind of see the bone growth, but in two weeks, uh, it's really changed. And, um, it's, it's just incredible. You know, I mean, I still, as far as the doctor was concerned, I wasn't going to be walking on my foot for probably another month. He said yesterday, but he's like, man, you might as well go ahead and walk. You know, I'm, I'm like 10 weeks out of surgery And a lot of people, when they have surgery, they start walking at six weeks, you know? So I've already gone four weeks prolonged of that, you know? So it's definitely been a slow, long road. (laughs) It's it's absolutely amazing, James. So just to, just, you know, just so in such gratitude that you shared your story and just basically a little recap, you know, the, the accident happens, you know, second week of February, um, surgery about two or three weeks later, and we're looking at, you know, infection, possible amputation, finally he's able to get the patch next to the actual um, foot after the cast comes off, and here we are, um, end of April, with walking a lot sooner than the doctor thought, um, it absolutely saved the foot, and we have um, all kinds of bone new bone growth and the doctor is saying wow what an amazing miracle keep doing what you're doing what a testimony yeah, i'm so glad for your journey so, yeah and you know that's what it comes down to so you know i mean um i, I can't say I, I guess i can say it's the patch because i'm doing absolutely nothing for my shoulder my shoulder is completely destroyed too uh i'm pretty avid snow machiner and dirt biker hunter, fisherman. I've been rough on myself in 35 years. I've had four four shoulder surgeries, a wrist surgery, and an elbow surgery, and I don't have any pain in any of those other spots that I lived in pain every day of my life. Um, You know, I broke my back. I broke my back in like 2006, uh, and, you know, I've changed a lot of what I do I I stretch and stuff but you know my back doesn't hurt like it did either um (laughs) I didn't want to get out of bed some days but now I want to I want to go do things (laughs) again again, how wonderful so so not only um, did it help the initial um horrible accident with the um the bone growth and the being able to walk through there you're getting all kinds of other other healing benefits with with them old past injuries fantastic that's so great james um i'm in it yeah so she gonna um so i'm gonna go ahead and start talking about the business so this is um you know life wave is a 15 year old business um so it's very stable and it's in 100 different countries. It's got um, 100 patents, 80 clinical studies. Um, The amazing thing about the X39 activating stem cell patch is it just came onto the market a year ago. So we basically have a revolutionary technology in repair and regeneration and age reversal, a year old, paired with a company that's been involved that's been in the industry for 15 years. So we have all the benefits of stability, distribution, clinical studies, patents, really paired with this um, X39 revolutionary stem cell patch, activating patch, so there's a, that's a year old. So the great thing about that also is that it's a non-invasive, like we said, and we are the only ones in the market. So prior to that, you know, the stem cell to get any stem cell therapy was extremely expensive, five, ten, twenty thousand dollars an injection. Um, you know, it was um, debatable whether it was whether it was legal in different places, and also really not effective. So, um, you know, a year ago, LifeWave, David Schmidt, who is the inventor and CEO owner, launched X39. Um, 
and it was in research for 10 years. That's why it's called X39, because it was th his 39th attempt to get the light frequency and the coding just right. So, so we, we have a really a lot of things going for it as far as the stability and the revolutionary aspect of it and um, that it just came out a year ago. So prior to that, LifeWave actually last year did um, $50 million. Then in the, now in the month of February, LifeWave did $50 million and that is solely because of the X39 patch. So I make that a distinction because that really indicates that this market, our company, our amazing product is in full momentum. As a matter of fact, it's in such momentum that our leaders who are amazing um, have been able to go to the top of the compensation plan in less than six months. And by doing that, they have blazed an amazing trail for everybody who comes after them for a turnkey, um, a turnkey at home business. So it's really fascinating that we have such an amazing product along with such great leadership, along with an amazing inventor creator, um, David Schmidt. So with that, I'm going to tell you how you can um, get this amazing healing product. So, and, and you know, it's, it's also um, less than a cup of coffee a day. So that's a pretty exciting little tidbit of piece of information. So you could be a retail customer, and that would mean that you would come in at $150 a sleeve. And a sleeve is 30 day supply. So retail would be 150, um, there you go, Sheila's holding it up, 150 for a month's supply. Or you could come in with a kit. And the kits, we have several kits, but the two we really like is the silver packet, which a lot, most people come in on that, um, it, and actually, even a customer can just come in on that silver packet. That allows them to have three months supply, which is when really deep cellular healing happens at that three month level. So at that point, it's called the silver pack and it's $2.99 um, for that. And that is three months supply. And then in addition, if you would like to um, do a home-based business, we have the diamond pack and you can come in with that at $15.99 and that's 19 sleeves that brings the price point down to 84 and gives you gobs of amazing product to share with your family and friends. Um, and then we don't want to, we want to remember that there's a 30 day money back guarantee. LifeWave backs their products tremendously because there's so much belief and so much amazing um, demonstrative results. There's a 30 day money back guarantee um, for their products. So yeah, get with who invited you here. Um, there's also a website that we like to refer people to for more information, which is startx39.com. So with that, I'm going to really thank James for joining us. It was a beautiful story. I'm so glad your healing's moving along. Thank you, James Hay. And I'm gonna give it back to your lovely mother, Sheila, to close us out. Well, thank you, Kathleen, and um, for sharing that information about the business with us. Um, thank you. Uh, I, I'm this kid's mom, and all those surgeries, he, he, they're real. I've been through, <laughs> through every one of those with that young man, and um, I wish this had been around years ago, all I can say about that. So uh, Kathleen said, this is a gifting business. This is a sharing business. We have envelopes that we like to take and put our patches in, drop them in. It shows how to wear the patch, tells about it. And this is how I share with my family and friends. Right now, while we're in this kind of crazy world of vacation and you can't meet up with people, I take this great little envelope and I stick it in there, throw it in the mailbox. So much, um, much aloha from Maui to you guys. Mahalo. Thank you. And uh, kea, aloha kea kua. May the breath of God be with everybody today. We love you. Have a wonderful day. And thanks, James. You rock. Woo Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye, baby. Awesome. Bye.